Hi, my name's Adam from Aberdeen Science Centre. Today we're going to learn about forces by building our own space landing craft. Landing is one of the most important parts of a space mission. When objects fall from space, they fall really fast and will hit the ground really hard. So we need to make sure that we reduce the force of impact that our landing craft is going to experience in order to protect its payload. This payload may be astronauts, like Tim Peake, or machinery, like the Mars Curiosity rover. To build our lander, we are going to need a carrier bag, a plastic cup, string, scissors, cotton wool, tape, straws, paper, tin foil, and an egg. First, we are going to add some cotton wool to our plastic cup and put the egg inside. Pad the cup with more cotton wool to protect the egg as much as possible. Then, tie a length of string to each handle of the plastic bag. Tape the other end of the string to the cup. Cut out some paper and tape it to the top of the cup so our egg doesn't escape. Tape some straws to the cup so that they extend out from the bottom. You can decorate your landing craft to make it look more spacey if you like. Now we are ready to test our spacecraft. Get somewhere nice and high and throw your creation. Remember to get an adult to help if you need. Our egg survived! There are a couple of things at work here which have helped protect our egg. First we have our parachute, which increases our spacecraft's air resistance. This slows our descent, which is really important because most spacecraft re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at 17,500 miles per hour. You can increase the air, the air resistance of your spacecraft by using a bigger parachute, like a bin bag. We also have our cotton wool and our straws, which act as shock absorbers. This is important because it means that when our spacecraft hits the ground, they will absorb the impact instead of our egg. You can make yours more safe by adding more cotton wool or longer straws. But remember, it costs $25,000 to send half a kilogram into space, so we don't want to make our lander too heavy. Good luck building your own lander. Remember to send us a picture of your design. See you next time!